So things in this room are basically like always under construction. It's always a work in progress for, uh, for rearranging and um, basically just making sure that I have room for, uh, for what it is exactly that I, I want to display. So I'll give a quick little uh, walk around here of, of what's in, in my room displayed right now. Uh, this room is specifically for like G.I. Joe stuff and making videos and I also make uh, make t-shirts and decals and whatnot in here. So we'll start on, on this wall. I have two uh, four foot by four foot uh, slat wall sections. And um, you know, I've got a lot of Valor versus Venom carded figures. I've got some fun school and foreign figures up here. Um, the Street Hawk on the card, that's a pretty cool one. Uh, some of the Rise of Cobra figures, the modern uh, POC figures and beyond that. Um, and down here, you know, I've got a couple of the comic packs, uh, more of these guys, and um, my iMac sits over here on a desk, and I've got a vinyl cutter here, but and like in, down here below all this stuff. But... One thing that I need to find, I, I've found them, I just need to order them. Um, protective cases for the larger card backs so that I can get those in. I don't have a lot of them because I never really had anything to put them in. Um, now that there is something, I'm probably going to be buying a lot more of those guys. But I've got my spy troops. The great thing about spy troops, they fit in a star case one. A uh, bunch of black major figures over here that are all packaged up in the, uh, the clamshells and more spy troops, some ninja force, uh, foreign ninja force, I don't remember where that guy's from, maybe Italy, uh, battle core figures. Um, I won't let you, <laughs> I'm not gonna show you what's on the floor because I've got some boxes that are stacked up, kind of, kind of like I said, it's a, it's a work in progress for a lot of stuff, but, um, Got a couple bookcases over here. This is where I store most of my um, sealed vehicles and whatnot. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter has started to fall over there a little bit for some reason. Probably happened whenever I was moving that around. Uh, I'll have to have to straighten him back up. But I've got some Transformers. I've been collecting the uh, the Siege line and. Um, I need to really find a home for those. Get this stuff really organized so that I can add more to it and have to move it all around here again soon. But, uh, you know, I've been throwing my Transformers up here on this shelf. Uh, more G.I. Joe stuff down low. Then over here on this wall, this is where I store my, or where I display. Uh, I've got all of my 25th anniversary figures up here across the top and some over here on the side. I've got a lot of vintage carded figures here. Python Patrol and Tiger Force, two of my favorite sub teams. Got that Alley Viper, gotta have one of those. Um, some people don't like these, but I love them. I think that these are so awesome. The uh, uh, DTC figures, they're like that, that awkward in-between stage between uh, vintage O-ring and modern. These are O-ring figures. Um, let's see what else. There's, uh, there's some custom carded stuff. Uh, I've got a, uh, you know, some couple Cobra Commanders down here. Uh, I've got a, a mobile table over here that has a couple of heat presses on it for different things. Um, you know, I, down here I also have <clears throat> a few, like most of these, uh, there's like probably maybe 10 of these, uh, these figures that are on reproduction card backs because I like the displays. Figures are mint, but I just, I, I wanted them carded and I didn't want to spend the money. Um, I've got, uh, some black major figures and some red laser figures that are mounted onto, uh, custom card backs. Uh, this guy here, he's from a convention last year. And, uh, the other wall is kind of a mess, but I'll go ahead and show you. I've got a shelf I'm working on here, and then in the closet, <laughs> the entire closet is a display for 12-inch uh, classic collection type G.I. Joe stuff. So, But yeah, that's a, that's a quick walkthrough of the room. I don't have enough space in here to get everything else out. 
I've got a lot of other G.I. Joe stuff that's mint in package, still sealed. Uh, unfortunately and tragically, it is locked away in totes. And yeah, maybe uh, maybe one day here soon, I'll be able to get all this stuff situated to the point where I can have all of it out. I'd love to be able to have all of my, uh, my G.I. Joe stuff out in this room. I'm going to have to add more slat wall wherever I can. And... Uh, See if I can secure up some more space. I did actually, uh, I worked on this a little bit, condensing things down and was able to free up some space here. So I'll grab some more hooks and get some more, uh, get some more figures hung up. But that's a quick walkthrough of some of my collection. I thought some of you all might appreciate seeing that, uh, might enjoy seeing it, looking at it. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. Uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button and always feel free to hit me up on Facebook. I love talking Joes.